Excellent, everybody. Let's go ahead and start working on those highlights. So we're going to be using our yellow primarily now, our yellow and our white. So if you need to add some more yellow or some more white, go ahead and snag those texture, I mean those colors, and mix them up together. Get a little bit of a white yellow mix. And then come in and highlight the very tippy top of your octopus's face. It's like this, this yellow white mixture. So it's kind of, I'm um, kind of a, what's it called? A dry brush technique where you're just kind of like patting in and rubbing the paint around a little bit to create some effects. And so you see the textures we've already created. What we're gonna do is go in between some of these, not that's the key point here, some of these, not all of these pieces of texture, and we're going to add our highlight. And now this highlight is going to really pop, make our little octopus pop, but we're gonna be doing it with a couple colors. So not just yellow, we're gonna be doing it with our bright orange color as well but just starting off with that yellow. And we're gonna concentrate the yellow on the upper portions of the body. So think of where the sun would be hitting them, where we'd be getting more of a highlight. And we're going to slowly and methodically fill in some of this texture. And of course, you can mute your yellow by adding, it, adding in some water or if you wanted to add in some orange as well. We'll be doing that in just a moment, but if you just, I'm only saying that for in case you don't want as bright of a yellow as we have here, so it's totally up to you. to putting it on the very upper portion on the back of the head. Again, you see I'm just doing quick little pit pat, pit pat, pit pat like that. Like I'm not sitting here and perfectly filling in each of these little pieces of texture. More like just like a quick little gesture, a little stroke going down the body. And then you're gonna to wanna to concentrate these yellow pieces on those bars that we did earlier where we had our guidelines. So our guides for our arms, we're going to be following those mentally right now to add in some more of these yellow textured marks. Just like so. And you're going to put just a little bit going down our number two arm. And then of course, on top of this arm that's in the foreground. And this one's going to be very bright, have a lot of yellow obviously because it is closest to us and it is most in highlight because it's above the rest of the body. When I say above it, I mean it's over the top of these arms. So 
Excellent. And so now we're going to go over here to our back arm that's flying behind him. And again, add in the exact same kind of little gestural, quick little marks. And I'm going to add just a few on these back ones, just to show that they have some texture. And then of course we're going to add them right here on this arm as well. Excellent, excellent guys. This is looking really, really good. We're just going to add maybe a little bit more over here. Just thinking about our light source coming down, shining right on him from the front. Like that. And now we can actually got, go in with our orange color. So we're going to go in with our orange yellow mix again. Very vivid color. And we're going to now do the exact same thing that we just did with our yellow, except now with the orange. And this is just going to be as an accent and complement to the yellow. So basically, in points of transition, which would have been like right here, where we have this yellow going into this really dark area, it's going to just kind of paint over a few of the marks of the yellow, but leave just a couple of them, and then continue the mark making and texture down the body with the orange. Just like so. I also wanted to add, wanted to kind of go over a couple of these yellow marks right here. So I like to also, use this orange yellow mixture right here as a gradient or a shift color into our darker version. So basically it's going to be the mid-tone between our yellow and the darker color that we already have on the body of our octopus. So it makes it look like it ha is more of a gradual shift to color rather than a very intense, immediate shift to a very different bright color like yellow. And so this just helps add that little extra touch of detail, um, that feeling of realism comes from these small gradual shifts in color and contrast. So over time, you're going to get really, really good at these guys. And just know that you can do this with every color. Uh, and I recommend you playing and trying them all. And something as simple as even just having like a little piece of paper that you're just having fun with one day and you just wanted to create a, a value shift using just two colors, two or three colors, and it's a great way to learn. You want to kind of concentrate some very bright orange yellow mix on the very tippy top of this arm right here. Again, because it's going to put it in perspective and show that this arm is in front of this arm. I also want to add in just a few little hints down the body a little more. And remember this arm was in 
would wrapped around itself so you could almost just go ahead and just color that in a little bit brighter right there that would look great and you're going to do the same here with this tentacle And then we're gonna come up to the upper arm, the arm that's like flying back behind the head. And we're going to add in all of these orange yellow highlights in there as well. And now you notice that I'm still leaving some of our original color, those really dark purples down here with just our base texture. Um, and that's just because those are going to stay that way. Then we want to keep those nice and contrasted. We don't want to do this everywhere and on everything because then it just becomes too much. So just keep that in mind that there is a nice line, a fine line between how much you want um, and then what looks best. Excellent. I'm going to come out here and I'm just going to kind of highlight this back arm a little bit more with some of that orange color. I'm going to come back to our first arm that we made when we were drawing and add just a hint of white while everything is still wet just to highlight that arm in front of everything else again. All right, guys, so that's the end of this step. So now we're going to come back with one more lesson. We're going to do our eye and our final little few details, and we are all done with this piece.